This Veterans Day, we want to take a moment to talk about one of the more difficult issues our veterans face. While suicide rates for veterans in our country remain high, there's also a growing attention on something called moral injury. Joining us now are Dr. Rita Brock. She's the Senior Vice President of Volunteers of America, and Charmaine Denise, a veteran who suffers from moral injury. Thank you both so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be with you. Before I met you, I didn't know what moral injury was, and I feel like a lot of our viewers don't. So mm -hmm. talk about what it is and who exactly can suffer from it. So we're all born moral. So any of us can suffer from moral injury. It's when we have an experience or a series of experiences that challenge our love, our faith, our meaning, our identity system. We just can't make sense of the experience because it's so devastating. So it leaves you sort of disconnected from um, everything that's mattered to you. Uh, and you're trying to figure out what happened and how can you be a good person when these terrible things happened to you or you did these terrible things. Right. And this yeah. is something that our veterans go through because they see something that a lot of us don't when they go to war, when they are in active combat, and so they have to deal with these emotions afterwards. Correct? Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily require combat. You can just lose a f person in your unit you deeply loved, and even if you couldn't have done anything, you feel responsible that they um, got harmed or died. Um, and so you, uh, you can feel survivor guilt, you can feel sh a shame that you could, didn't do more, uh, so you can feel angry. Right, there's right. a range of emotions. So yeah. How does moral injury then differentiate between PTSD? What's the difference well, there? Well, most people define PTSD as a kind of intense fear reaction where your fear system is now overactivated. You're hypervigilant, you have flashbacks and things like that, but it's um, considered right now in mental health a, f a kind of fear disorder that um, interferes with your life. and. Moral injury isn't based in fear. It's really based in your moral conscience. Got it. And so Volunteers of America developed a Resilience Strength Training, or RST. What exactly is that? It's a program to help people process their moral injuries. And uh, because it involves your meaning system, it involves how you feel about yourself, it involves your sense that you are unworthy of love, there are all these things that happen to people with moral injury. We, it's a pretty complicated 60 hour process of helping people process enough that they begin to sort of feel themselves again and feel worthy. And Charmaine, I know that you went through this process. What led you to go through this training and, and how are you now? So I was in a pretty hopeless place. Um, I had exited out of the military and I just felt stuck. I felt heavy and I felt lost, um, and I couldn't make sense of it. Um, so life happens, and I just found myself unraveling. Um, I f found myself just coming apart at the seams. You knew you needed some help, and For so sure. you reached out, and you went through this training. How did the training help? The training was pretty powerful. Um, so I've been going through therapy for seven years mm -hmm. and the experience that I experienced at the um, resilient strength training, I hadn't experienced in all of the therapy sessions that I've been um, attending. Um, because with the, with the resilient strength training, you're unpacking a lot of those um, the emotions, the, the emotions, yeah. the despair, the yeah. hopelessness, the sadness. And I'm assuming you get sort of practical application too about how to handle those emotions, correct? Exactly. Yeah. We do spiritual practices that help people be more present in their body. Yes. Where you can then manage the pain that comes up with trauma. Yeah. But we also, because it's a group, everybody's there to support everyone well, that's else. What I was say. And there are no therapists in the room. It's yeah. all veterans. And the and Charmaine was trained She's as a, a peer, peer, facilitator. peer facilitator. It can lead those groups. So people are gonna see this, they're gonna want to get involved. So 
or they're going to need help. So they can go to the website that's there, voa.org slash moral injury, or call the number on the screen because this is really an impactful training program. It is. Thank you so much for sharing more about it and sharing your story as well. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.